By the time Larry Thorne enlisted as a private in the U.S. Army in 1954, he was already a war hero. His real name was Lori Torney, and he'd been fighting the Soviets for most of his adult life. Torney was born in Finland in 1919. He enlisted when he turned 19 to fight for his country against the Soviet Union in the Winter War of 1939 through 40. He rose to the rank of captain and took command of a group of ski troops. Yes ski troops. The man literally skied into battle. In 42, he skied into a mine and was severely wounded, but he didn't stop fighting. In 1944, he received the Mannerheim Cross, Finland's version of the Medal of Honor. Unfortunately, 1944 is when Finland signed a ceasefire and ceded territory to the Soviets. But Torney wanted to keep fighting the Ruskies, so he joined up with the German SS. But he didn't get to fight for long, since Germany soon fell, and Torney soon found himself arrested by the British and put into a POW camp. Not that the POW W camp stopped him. He escaped and returned to Finland, but Torney was arrested and sentenced to six years in prison for treason. He served half the sentence before he was pardoned by the president of Finland in 1948. At this point, the Soviets wanted to get their hands on Torney, drag him to Moscow, and try him for war crimes. But Torney had other plans. He made his way to the United States and joined Army Special Forces in 1954 under the name Larry Thorne. Thorne quickly distinguished himself and rose to the rank of captain just as the Vietnam War was on the horizon. In Vietnam, Thorne earned the Bronze Star Medal for heroism, along with five Purple Hearts for combat wounds. His wounds allowed him to return to the rear away from combat, but Thorne instead requested command of a special operations base. On October 18, 1965, Thorne led the first Military Assistance Command cross-border mission into Laos to interdict North Vietnamese movement down the Ho Chi Minh Trail. His team was inserted into a clearing inside Laos by South Vietnamese Air Force helicopters, while Thorne remained in the chase helicopter to direct support. Once the team confirmed that they had made it in, Thorne headed back to base. But roughly five minutes later, the helicopter crashed due to poor visibility and bad weather. First he was listed as missing in action, then later as killed in action. The wreckage of the aircraft was found before the end of the war. While the remains of the South Vietnamese air crew were recovered, Thorne was never found. According to a Finnish newspaper, quote, many believed he was exactly the sort of near indestructible soldier who would have simply walked back out of the jungle and they found it hard to believe that he had been killed. In 1999, the mystery ended. Thorne's remains were recovered from the crash site and dental records confirmed that he had died that fateful night. Like, share, and comment below and stand in awe of Larry Thorne, a man who fought under three flags and didn't acknowledge the meaning of quit.